ahi, but we got mahi mahi, so at least we got dinner. She was sleeping and she heard it go off. I was driving with the music blasting, never even heard the reel go off. Luckily, she woke up. And we got a nice mahi mahi. We did about 70 miles around the island from west side to north shore. Was running all different things, mostly ahi lures when we were out far. Got the mahi mahi on uh, KC 5 inch crack mirror, like usual. I'll show you the mahi mahi when we get a little bit closer inside. It's like a washing machine right now. Uh, a couple hours ago, it was like a lake 20 miles offshore. Alright, be right back. Alright, we got dinner. up gang we're back in the kitchen with today's catch of mahi mahi and it was a female so there's the eggs delicacy in asia most people throw them away they should not check out these fillets so nice we cut out the blood meat just because makes for a better quality so we're gonna make some panko japanese style fried mahi mahi and then Gonna brown up some burritos, kind of make like tacos. So here's the mayonnaise we're using. Of course, Japanese mayonnaise, Japanese breadcrumb, panko, egg. There's the panko. Japanese breadcrumb. Trick is with the oil, we learned this in Japan. So this is all authentic. Use a lot of oil. Whenever you guys try to use this much oil to fry the fish, it doesn't work real good. And then I'll be browning the tortillas on that. So he's gonna make up the mahi mahi. This is the secret Japanese recipe. This is how you get your fried fish restaurant quality. That's the secret right there. Put the Japanese mayonnaise in with the egg. The difference in Japanese mayonnaise compared to the junk the US has. All right, once you get your batter to the consistency that's not too thick or too runny, Use a toothpick, 
pro hack. Dip your fish in the egg mayonnaise. Put in the camp panko. Kind of push it in that way it doesn't all fall off in the oil. Ding, ding. Now waiting for the oil super hot. This one. This one. If you have a fry daddy, you can use that as well. Like a French fry cooker. Yeah, that's what I like the bed too. Alright, so now you see the process. Just repeat this over and over, and then I'll show you how to do these eggs. So when you cook like that, don't try to turn it. Just let it like that. Don't keep trying to turn it. Just let it go, kind of like chicken wings. I'm sure this is a mental thing for people, but it's actually really good. Everyone we have cooked it for that is grossed out by the thought of eating the eggs. Uh, have really enjoyed it. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, here's two pieces fresh out of the fryer. So if you leave it longer, this is the color you're going to get. It'll dry out the meat maybe a little bit. If you leave it like this, it still cooks fully inside because the oil that hotness still cooks it once you remove it let's cut it open and see how nice it is inside oh flaky white meat look at that perfect see cook perfect okay all right Here was my taco. It was phenomenal. There's the battered egg. It has a lot of moisture in it, so be careful it doesn't overflow with the egg. Does the egg take less time? She said yes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and brown the tortillas. A lot of people don't do this. Of course, you can be lazy. You can just eat it, wrap it plain, straight out of the pack. If you've never done this, it's a game changer in the taste. Give it a try. Try to do medium heat. If it's too hot, it'll start burning because it's corn and flour. When you see the bubble, make sure you flip it. Or just keep flipping it if you're not sure. And then once you get a little bit of brownness onto it like that, it will be perfect. There, see the bubble?
they don't take long at all. And there's the fish. Check that out. As soon as it's that color, it's done. If you want, you can put it on a paper towel to absorb the oil. Uh, here comes the rest of the eggs. There's nothing to compare it to. It tastes really good though. Yeah, fresh egg like the best. Perfect. Mahi taco. Mm -hmm. 